Today, I'm going to show you guys my entire Aspinall of London collection, as well as a new piece that I just picked up. So stay tuned. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane. And today I am bringing you a collaboration between myself and Maria from Maria Louise Loves Luxuries. I will link her channel and her video down below. We are both sharing our entire Aspinall of London collections. Hers is a great deal more expansive than mine because I am just starting out, but I still love all the things I have and I'm excited to show you today. We are gonna get started with the smallest piece for my collection which is this cute little fox leather charm. So adorable, I love it. It is a scarlet red color with gold accent and little black eyes, black leather on the back. Really cute to put on a handbag, especially a handbag that doesn't have a lot of ring hardware to attach a you know, clip type of charm to. Um, it's a great little accessory. And I think I picked it up because they were having a big sale around Black Friday, kind of, and everything was like 20% off. I don't really remember. It was a pretty good sale. And so I grabbed this along with some other Christmas gifts. And so they may still have these animal figures on the site or not. And, um, but they'll probably bring them back if they don't have them right now. I'm going to link everything down below um, if it is still available to purchase. Another piece that I picked up during the sale was this passport cover. It is in a smooth calfskin, cognac colored leather. It has a foil Aspinall of London stamp on the back. Passport and my initials are blind embossed into the front. It has metal corners right here. And then when you open it, it has a suede-like interior. It's really soft and a little grow grain leather bookmark. Super adorable and useful. I can't wait to get my passport renewed <laughs> and put it in here so that I can take it with me on a trip. It's got a nice slim profile too. Some passport covers uh, especially the one from Louis Vuitton are a little bulky for my taste. I know they're really cute and everything, but I like that this one is just very basic and simple. So that is, I think this is one of my only SLGs, I would say, from Aspinall. Unless, of course, you count this as an SLG, which I guess it is because it's small and it's leather. <laughs> it is, however, the medium-sized London case. It is in the burgundy pebble leather. It is gorgeous. I love this color. It is it almost matches my nails. It is a really deep burgundy, or I would call it like a raisin, almost purpley color. It's so pretty. I'm showing you the Autumn Beckman spin. It has chunky gold hardware. It has a little uh, tab on the end for when you are pulling the zipper open or closed. It has a very, very smooth zipper. Really nice. Inside is some tissue paper. There is really beautiful, stunning royal blue fabric contrast lining. And a one inside pocket right here with a leather tab with the brand on it. I love that the zipper goes part way down the side. I think if it went straight across, it would not be as good at all. This way you can really open it wide and get your things and see everything. I can't wait to use this for travel. Um, we're going to go on a trip next month, and I plan to put all of my cosmetics in here or toiletries and also probably going to bring my toiletry 19 as well. So everything is in a nice, safe place. So that is the London medium case. Before we move on to the handbags, I'm going to show you my two silk scarves. Silk neck scarves is what these are called. 
They are gorgeous. They are very, very soft. They have really beautiful designs. This one has flowers and butterflies in a yellow colorway. Let me see. Let me show you the some of the beautiful butterflies that are on here. It's so pretty. The silk is really high quality. It's got a fabulous feel to it. It is branded on this end right there, Aspinall of London. And uh, I was really happy to find this. The price is great. It is lower price than Louis Vuitton and I think better quality. Also, it's a great length. It's not too terribly long. So you can just tie a bow on your handbag, as I'll show you in a second, and not have a lot of extra material to deal with. Or you can use it in your hair as a neck scarf, which is what it was intended for. The one I picked up the most recently is this one. It's in a neutral colorway. I have tied it to my Mayfair bag here. And it is just that. It is very neutral. It has a bit of this blue and gold and taupe and cream, and it just goes with everything. And now, obviously, we're going to move on to the handbags. This was my first Aspinall handbag. It is the Black Shine Croc Mayfair bag, the largest of the Mayfair bags. They come in like four different sizes, from this size to like a little baby tiny bag nano size. But this is absolutely stunning. The croc, the mock croc is so well done. It is so shiny and smooth and perfect. I love it so much. It is super structured. It is just the right size. The bottom has four feet. The croc embossing goes all the way around the entire bag, including the handle. The top handle is fixed in place here. It does not, you know, go front or back and there is a ring there for the shoulder strap. There is a back pocket with a magnetic closure. It's fairly tight, but I have put my phone back there in the past, but usually I'll put like papers and something really slim back there. Now we can open it up. There is like a gate clasp closure. Inside, we've got a front compartment, a back compartment, and a center zip compartment lined in a beautiful uh, red fabric. There is a matching mirror, which is awesome. Reminds me of my Bottega Veneta bags that also came with a matching little hand mirror. And there's also another slip pocket right here on the front. So there's plenty of organization. It holds quite a bit. Um, compartments do sometimes make a bag lose some space, but I think this one is just the right size. I love this gorgeous Mayfair bag. I highly recommend it. I did get it on sale. I do really only shop Aspinall when they're having a sale, which they do fairly frequently, maybe every couple of months, they run some kind of promotion, whether it's a buy more, save more promotion or a percentage off type of deal. And so that is when I have made, I think all of my purchases from them. Highly recommend the Mayfair. It comes in so many different colors, but I think it is exclusively croc emboss or uh, shiny patent um, alligator emboss. I like this one because I did not want patent leather. I did want to have leather with a emboss on it. So this is not this is not patent leather or patent leather. <laughs> so that is this bag. And now we can move on to the reveal of the newest addition to my Aspinall collection, which is in this little dust bag. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, it's uh, Jane Loves LV. Um, I did talk about how I was planning on getting a different bag than this one, and I'll tell you about that in a little bit. But this is the one that I got. The Camera A bag in warm gray pebble leather. 
It is a cute, adorable, boxy, small camera bag. There is a back card pocket. It has gold hardware. It has these rings for the shoulder strap is detachable, which is awesome. It has the stitching right here with an A. It is pretty small. It is almost what I'd consider a mini bag, but it does hold your essentials. And most importantly, it does hold a phone, which is uh, I think what separates a tiny bag from a mini bag. Um, I love the color. I wanted something that had that neutral taupe color to it. You could wear with everything. Um, if you have the YSL camera bag, this one is one inch shorter um, on the side and the top than that. So it's just a tiny bit smaller than the YSL camera bag. Let's look inside. I wish the zipper was a lot smoother, but for some reason, and here's the matching shoulder strap, adjustable shoulder strap. For some, for some reason, it's not as smooth as the zipper on this one. It's the identical shape, that kind of curved shape, identical zipper hardware. But for some reason, my luck, I guess, this one is really, really not as smooth. I'm going to try to fix it though. Um, there are ways of attempting to make zippers glide better using um, wax paper and stuff like that. So I'm going to try that. This has a full back pocket for organization. You can put your phone in there if you wanted to or card card case. And right here you've got your leather patch with the brand on it. So let's uh, check out what fits in here. I did bring a few essential items to demonstrate what this little camera bag will hold. Uh, first of all, we have my phone. I'm gonna slip this into the back pocket and see if it will fit in there comfortably. Yeah, I guess it does. It's in there, it's in the pocket. I don't know if I would necessarily keep it in there. We'll see how easy it is to grab it. All right, next, I'm going to put in my Chanel quilted caviar O case and my Louis Vuitton coin card holder, which is the wallet I'm using right now. Fits right in perfectly. And lastly, of course, I'll need my keys. This is my Louis Vuitton six key holder in Damier Graphite. And I'm going to try to get it on the side here. Let's see. I know it'll fit in there. You just have to kind of play a little bit of Tetris to get it to fit perfectly. Well, actually, no, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> so it's in there. It's just up against the back next to the O case. So this is what I would consider pretty full, though I think I've got enough room at the top where I could just put my reading glasses and set them right on top there if I needed to. I'm going to close it. <laughs> and now it is what I would consider to be full. And it's just super duper cute. Show the A. Um, I also wanted to talk about how awesome it is that this A is stitched in here, obviously for Aspinall. I think it's a great detail because it breaks up this big rectangle of leather to make it more interesting and more unique. And I brought my puzzle bag down to kind of show how they did the very same thing with the puzzle bag because this is a, another very boxy, you know, handbag. It's just a, a rectangle and it's really boxy. But by creating it out of different stitched pieces of leather, it adds more interest. It's more unique. And you know what would be cool is if Aspinall would do this bag and color block it and, you know, do some complimentary colors or, you know, something really different and interesting with these pieces. I hope they do that. I don't know if they've ever done anything like that before, but they have so many different colors in their pebble leather. They had like 10 available. So that would be a good idea. I would get one of those, especially if it was in some like fun seasonal colors. 
So that is my reveal of my newest Aspinall bag. I did want to mention uh, the other bag that I ordered from Aspinall that I did return the following day. And it was the uh, large Lottie bag. I'll put a picture up here of what it looks like. It was in the navy uh, caviar leather, which is a, a quilted kind of pebbled leather that is supposed to be similar to the uh, you know, Chanel caviar leather, or they spell theirs with a K. Or maybe the YSL Grand de Poudre type of leather, where it's just a very tiny, you know, pebbling with little circles. And on Chanel, of course, it's uh, it's very, very soft. It is just exquisite to the touch and uh, just a very, almost has a, a slight sheen to it, you know. See if I can get that to focus. There's a slight sheen to the leather. And obviously this is the highest, one of the highest possible quality quilted uh, pebbled leathers that you can get. So... I ordered the large Lottie hoping that it would be close enough at least to be a compromise bag for a Chanel quilted flat bag. And it arrived and I did buy it on sale. The sale was $225 off. So I did get it on sale, which was great. Um, but it arrived and I was not happy at all with the leather. <laughs> I wish I'd taken pictures of it, though. I don't think the pictures would have shown how... It, how it felt. It was super dry, rough. Um, it just was not soft. It was kind of hard feeling. And it was just kind of like not pleasant to touch. And I am very, you know, tactile with my bags. I really need them to feel nice to hold in my hands because that is how I use them. I hold them and I touch them and I open them and I, you know, that's how you use a handbag. And I, it was an unpleasant experience holding and using that Lottie bag. And I think it was just that particular treatment because they do make the Lottie bag in their pebble leather. And I think they do a, you know, different smooth leathers and stuff. But it was this one quilted caviar with a K uh, leather that just wasn't doing it for me. Maybe it was the batch I got. I have no idea. I slept on it and I thought about it and uh, because of the price partially and, and just because I can't keep a bag if I'm not in love with it. Um, you know, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I decided to send it back. The sale was still going on at the time. And so that's when I picked out the camera a bag, which was, you know, a lot cheaper and the sale was still on. So I saved $125 on this, which I, you know, used for this next scarf. So basically the next scarf was free. It was $125. And I'm really happy with uh, with the choice I made. This is really cute. I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. I will do a full review in the future. I haven't even carried this yet. I just got it a couple of days ago. And so I'm going to try it out with different um, chains and straps and things like that and uh, see how I like using it. So that about does it for this collection collab video with... Maria, please go check out her channel and her video. Her Aspinall collection is super amazing. She has um, she has one of these too. I don't know if she has one or two. I'm not really sure. But she did just add something new as well. So she will have a reveal in her video. She also has a couple of Portobello bags, which are absolutely gorgeous and unfortunately discontinued. But I still love looking at the ones she has. And she has some SLGs as well. So please go check her out. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.